I'm trying to unlock the crossbow on plunder quads. I just figured I would never be able to do it. Then my friend told me this game setting would be a lot easier because the players respawn. I'm using the EBR-14, which is a type of marksman weapon. In the unlock, you have to uh, get five kills in one game in 25 different times. I've already done five of them. It's a lot easier on plunder quads. I actually started going on alone because there's uh, really no respawn penalty. You can just parachute right back into the game and you don't have to concentrate on helping your friends out or reviving them or pay attention to the game itself. You can just like stalk other players to get all your kills. It also helps that you start the game with your loadout. My EB-14 has a lot of the attachments already. I got the extended clip and of course the reflex sight that I need. And I got the suppressor on it and that helps a lot. I already bought the uh, crossbow actually in a way, the Asin Bosak bundle. You get the uh, Watchful Eye crossbow with the uh, Night Fang uh, skin or whatever you call it for Grinch. It's pretty cool. You hide, it, it allows you to hide in the bushes really easy. People, you're, you're kind of hard to see. So I have this crossbow, but I don't have, uh, you can't get any of the attachments and you can't get any of the special ammo for it. So I actually still have to unlock the crossbow. That's why I'm doing this. Here's my AB-14 with all the attachments. I got the suppressor. I got, I got the reflex sight. I actually, you actually need the reflex sight to do the, do the mission. I forgot to mention that. It's five kills 25 times with the reflex sight on a marksman weapon. But I'm going to switch to the, uh, the knife. I'm not very good with pistols anyway. I'll probably end up having knife in all my loadouts eventually. For perks, I'm using Ghost, Tracker, and Cold-Blooded. It makes me pretty hard to find. And, and for the field upgrade, I'm using the ammo box so I don't run out of bullets when I'm hiding from people. I believe if you get five kills during a warm-up, it'll add to your mission counter. I've just never been able to do it. Enough training. Now we face the enemy for real. Thermite out! Only three. Close again. Your mission is simple. Secure more cash than the enemy. All right, soldier. Mark a drop point for you. By the way, you can meet your mission objectives twice in one game. If you get five kills, it resets, and if you get five kills again before the end of the game, you actually get two counters for your mission, so that's good. I did it once, so that's I, then I looked at how many uh, how many more I had gotten. I had gone up two, so I, I know you can do it twice in a game. If you're good enough, three or more, I suppose. I know melee works too, even though it's uh, you're supposed to get him with your uh, reflex sight. If you actually use your melee, like the butt of your weapon in a melee attack to finish them off, it actually counts. It actually counts as your weapon being used. So that's an important thing to remember. <laughs> Terrible shooting. But I'm going to wait for his teammates to show up so I can get some more kills. I was trying to run out of his magazine, but I didn't realize he had a machine gun as a drum. In this vaulted room over here, I have a duel with this player. He keeps coming back to try and kill me, and I end up taking him out four times.
The fact that he has no revive stage pretty much means he has no team and he's by himself like me. That's pretty much what it means. I'm not sure what the rules about killing down players is. I know if you, you down him and you finish him off, they count as one of, they count as for your mission, but uh, if you down someone and they get revived, you don't get any points for it. Also, if they give up or they die some other way, I don't think you get the points, even if you downed him with your gun. I'm not 100% sure on the rules with this, but uh, I just I usually run up and like melee him down. I, when I down an enemy player, I just run up and start meeting him, and their, their friends all freak out. They don't know why I'm up there. I'm just after points, man, to get my crossbow in there. I usually throw them off a little bit. The ammo boxes are real important if you want to unlock the crossbow too, because you don't have to switch weapons. You can keep using the same weapon and just keep getting your points, you know? Enemy soldier incoming. I know that player coming is him again because this area is kind of deserted. You know, these maps are so huge and since there's no gas coming in, you have to kind of take it upon yourself to follow the action because the players end up chasing the top earners. And like big parts of the map just end up being deserted and there's no one there. You know, so you just have to like chase the action. But I, since this guy keeps coming back for revenge, I just decided to wait for him and keep getting points from him. Watch the skies. This thing went on for a while, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through everything. One thing I do do like a pro is, is I like to run with a knife. It makes you run a lot faster. I would like to actually attack the guy with a knife, but since I'm trying to get points, I actually switch to my gun when I find him. Never get owned by a moderate player like that. That guy needs practice. This player or her teammates never came back, so I had to move on. Here I finally come up on some serious action with lots of players running around.
team is tracking your location. This last kill of the game really shows how good Ghost and Cobaletta is when you have a silencer. I didn't even have a bush to hide in and this last guy didn't even know where I was. Well there it is, I'm one more step to unlocking the crossbow.